Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody contacted me actually from down under, and I'm not being uh, sarcastic, it's just kind of, it always amazes me, people that contact me, and want to know how to make irregular lines like grains of wood, and I've just kind of been playing around, so use artistic media tool, go to your, right here to expressions, and you can change a lot of these factors, that's way too big. That's, uh, we need like 0.125 brush stroke. And we're just going to draw some. And keep in mind, you don't want to draw, you know, um, you want irregular, you know, shapes. So then you've got a couple of lines like that. Let's zoom in here. And I made them a little mess, but that won't really matter. That might add to it. Then you can change this. You can change it to like 33 degrees. And what that does, it changes the angle of the line. Uh, you can kind of see that it's a different, it's not only a different thickness, it's a different, completely different shape. Let's, let's add a piece of like the center of the wood. And you can do, a, you can, if you have a mistake like that, you can always use the shape tool, click on it and move, remove that little edge. Of course, it's, it's, if you're drawing tree bark or grain, then you can change this to, let's go 99 and see what happens. You know, see how it looks different. It just change different things and, you know, change. Uh, this is probably freehand smoothing, so you don't want it to really be smooth. And you that really looks good because it kind of blends in and out. And we'll just do a couple of those. And um, we'll call this good in just a second. But, you know, just kind of draw some lines. And you could take a long time to do this correctly. And I'm going to just put this guy in a little bit. So let's say that's the one we want. And this is what's so cool about this. Let's group this together with Control G. Then go up here to your artistic media tool and grab your brush tool and then click on it and this will come up, save artistic media stroke. And I've already got wood one and two, so I'm gonna put wood three. Save, and this is what's so cool about this. So you've taken some time to do this now. Grab it, grab your brush stroke and we'll go down to wood three and we need to make this like two inches your stroke well it changed that to two inches but that's okay but you see what i'm doing let's change it to three inches and you can make your artistic media stroke and you could you know you don't have to go on straight so let's say I'm really bothered by this one, so let's delete it. Let's say this one's good. And let's do this. Let's control G and group that together. And then let's, holding down the control key, let's flip it. I didn't make a duplicate. Control D and make a duplicate. Flip it. And then let's put it below this other one. Kind of giving us a double. And it's mirrored, so it, it'll be the opposite. And if you took long enough time to do this it would look better than mine and then what I would do is I'd go to range and ungroup all objects I'd select them again go to range and convert them to a curve or let's break all objects apart let's do this arrange and convert them to a curve let's do this we've got a hairline in there somehow let's delete it there should be two because I doubled it. So now we're going to group this together with control G. Now let's just, let's say if you were wanting to make a board, then so just draw you a rectangle and then select all this and go right here to intersect. Voila. You've got a board looking board with some grain. And, it, and you saw how quick I did that. So if you took a lot of time, uh, that would be beneficial. 
I can't really remember what she draws with this, but she seemed really interested in, in learning how. So anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.